How to solve your Rubik's Cube, part 2. Now what your objective, objective is to solve a yellow cross. So here, 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 and here should be yellow. So I only got three that is yellow. And if you have a cross, then you're done with this step already. And you should like probably skip to the next step or something. So you'll see here that I've got a little yellow, yellow L. But there's another case um, where you might have a. I do not seem to be getting it. Have a yellow bar. And there's another case where you only have a yellow centerpiece. Those are three cases that you can have, or you can have a cross, which means you don't this step. And if you have a bar, hold it so that it's like this, and you do F R e, um U R inverted up inverted front inverted, and you should get across. Now, if you have an L like here. Then you do the same thing. And you see that you get a bar. Now hold it in the same position that I told you to and do the algorithm again. Wait. Okay, it's the bar. And you get across. So you keep doing the bar algorithm until you get a cross. Now after you got the cross, now what you need to do is solve the whole top layer. Now this step is easy. You need to learn one algorithm, but it's kind of long. It's about seven moves and takes some time to learn. So I suggest that you write this down. Um, There are four um four possibilities that you can get you can get a cross with no corners like mine so zero corners that are done so none of them are yellow that's the first case second case is when I have one corner and third case is when I have two corners here or here and fourth case is when I have four corners which means I am done with this that and notice that I skipped three corners because that is impossible to achieve unless you have a mixed up cube like if you broke it switched it like that so you sh if you have a if you have a three three corner yellow side then you should break your cube and like solve it that way and then mix it up and then learn to solve it because your cube is messed up. Now what you need to do is if you have zero corners, make sure that a yellow piece is right here facing to your left on the top right left side and you do this this algorithm. R U R I U R U two R I and after you've done that, you just need to have one corner. If you have one corner, put it on the bottom left, the, the one corner that you have, and do the same algorithm. This should solve your yellow side. But now I'll teach you how to do what to do when you have two sides. If you have two corners. So I have two corners, and if you have two, two like this or two like this, like I have, like diagonally, like a figure eight, then you put the yellow right here, so it's like this. But if you face it like this, there's no yellow here, so that will not work. You have to put the yellow right in front of you on the top left corner. So you do. Same algorithm. Now I have one corner, so I'll put it on the bottom left. Put it bottom left again. 
and you see that I solved it. So you should keep doing it and you should eventually get the yellow sign and making sure that your corners are placed correctly here, here, or here. So once you've done that, you're done with solving the yellow sign.